All right, guys, uh, welcome to part four of Super Metroid. In the last video, we got the Vario suit and the Speed Booster. So in this episode, we're going to use the Speed Booster to backtrack and then get the Grapple Beam. I believe that's the next item, the Grapple Beam. Or we'll, we'll be getting the Grapple Beam and the Ice Beam. Also, there is a missile expansion over there. I'll be going back to get that later. So yeah, let's go ahead and go back here. Use the speed booster. Basically, it takes you back here to this save area. Go ahead and get this. Wait, never mind. For some reason, I thought it was like a missile thing. Anyway. Okay, I believe I won't be able to get past this. Let's see. Yeah, you have to go in a different way. Pretty sure I know which way to go. But for now, anyway, I'm gonna go back up here because there's an area that we couldn't access previously. Now we have a speed booster, we can actually go in here. And we can access this area. We'll also need to come back here later after we have the power bombs because if you guys didn't see it, there's a power bomb thing back there. Go ahead and go up here. Yeah, this is where we get the ice beam. And we get the grapple beam after the ice beam. But so, um, the location where the ice beam is, it's like pretty secretive, really. I mean, it's kind of like a secret. Like, I don't really know how you would figure this out if you were playing for the first time. I mean, did you just see that little gap and you go in there? Yeah, it took me, like, the first time I played this, it took me a while to figure that out. So I finally noticed that gap and I was like, oh wait, you can go in there. It turns out it's actually, like, I thought it would be a secret, but it's actually the next item. Anyway, so now with the Ice Beam, we can actually freeze enemies, which is very useful. You can use them as platforms and stuff. So yeah, we can do a lot with the Ice Beam. Right here, it shows it off. You just freeze these. Oops. Okay, now we're back here. And now we have to go back, um, we have to go back and use the ice beam. So. I believe the next item we want to get, actually we want to go back up here. Because now we can use the ice beam to go up that long red chasm up there. And then we get the power bombs. Which then allow us to get the grapple beam. So. But yeah, we need to go back here. I always love this tube here. That'll come into play later on. But yeah, now we can actually, oops, I was going to say, now we can actually defend ourselves against those things with the ice beam. So yeah, it is kind of annoying to try and get up there with the ice beam, but it's not really that bad. I mean, let's go replenish our energy. So anyway, you want to freeze these enemies, and like I said, sometimes it is a little bit annoying to get up there because it, they don't stay frozen for very long. So, yeah. Can't go into that door. Yeah, that's a power bomb door. We'll be able to go in that on our way back. But you, I think you actually need the grapple beam, though, for what's in there. So yeah.
Yeah, see, it's kind of annoying to get up there like that. There we go. Alright. I don't know what these things are, but if you get stuck inside of it, it literally, like, swallows you for a moment. And I keep hitting it. What the heck? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so you can go down here. I don't think you need the power bombs to go down here. Maybe you do. Hold on. You got these weird enemies coming out of their skin or something like that. See. I don't know if I I might need to go back up and get the power bombs before I can do anything in here. Let me see. Might be able to get power bombs from here actually, let's see. And yeah. This is actually the room where you do get the power bombs in. So the power bombs allow you to you can actually break through certain parts of the wall like that. Reveal secrets. So basically anytime you see something that you, well, sometimes you can't really tell though, you just have to kind of do a power bomb and then see. But yeah, uh, nope, that's not the right one. There is one of those that you fall into and that's up here, I forgot. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't think they put two secrets like that in one room, so yeah. Let's go up here. Now we can access the yellow door the yellow doors. So this is where that secret is I was talking about. First kill these. power bomb and then just fall down into this and there we go another power bomb expansion okay so now what we want to do is we want to go back down to where we were in North Air to get the um, grapple beam so let's go ahead and do that I think I'm gonna go ahead and save in here, just to be sure. I might cut this part out. Right. So yeah, let's backtrack once again. This room's kind of annoying. I don't, I don't like this room. It's pretty annoying. But if you if you know how to get past it, you can get past it just fine. Anyway, so let's fall down here. So there is a yellow door right here, but we don't want to do that yet because the grapple beam is required to get whatever's in that room. I forget what it is. I think it's... Yeah, I don't really remember exactly what it was. You do need the grapple beam, though. It's really annoying if you fall into the water, by the way, before you have the gravity suit. So you do not want to fall into the water. So yeah, like I said, this game does have a lot of backtracking, but it's kind of, it's kind of a clever use of backtracking, really. Because you can just kind of remember, oh yeah, I saw this back there, so now I'm going to go use this item that I just got. That's, ba that's basically what Metroid's about. Metroidvanias. Okay. So let's go back into this room. Where we got the ice beam from. You see a power bomb 
blocks right there. Here we go, a whole new area. So there's actually a missile expansion up there in the corner. It's actually really hard to get. It's annoying to get. It really is. I don't know why they chose to put that up there, but we're going to have to get that at some point. Because I am trying to do 100%. Anyway, just use the speed booster in this room. And then we end up here. So it doesn't really matter like where you go first, I think, but there is a boss though down here. And this is actually one of my favorite bosses in the game, Krokemeyer. I mean like look at him. He's pretty terrifying, isn't he? So basically you just want to the charge beam works best for this. I mean, you can use missiles, but you might as well not replenish your missiles. The charge beam definitely works for this. But anyway, so you, would, you just want to push him back into the acid. Definitely one of the best enemy designs I've ever seen. I really wish they would bring him back in Metroid. Like, imagine him a Metroid Dread. That would have been awesome. But yeah. About it, it's kind of messed up because like I don't really think Krokemeyer is involved with the space pirates or anything like that. He's just kind of a creature down here, so I'm just kind of killing him. I mean, I mean he was gonna kill us. So. Anyway, we're almost there. Come on. This is probably the most gruesome death in Metroid, like, watch this. His skin literally just melts off. I love that, that's awesome. I really don't think Nintendo would get away with doing that today. But, to so walk back here... Oh crap, what is that? Is he coming back? He just falls. And that's it. Can't believe he was like still alive like that. But um, so when I first played this, I thought that like I was gonna have to fight his skeleton, you know, kind of like Dry Bowser or something like that. But um, yeah, that's just not the case though. Anyway, so right here you would normally need the grapple beam, but if you oh crap, it's not really how I wanted to do it. But anyway, so if you go over there, you just get the energy tank. You can get it without the grapple beam. And it replenishes your energy, so now you can just kind of go over there. There we go. Oops. Okay, why do I keep falling into the acid? But yeah, the acid is worse than the lava, I believe. Even if you have the gravity suit, the, the acid still hurts you. But yeah. So with Krokemeyer defeated, I think that's it for episode 4 of Super Metroid. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.